All right, here we go. This is it. Jill Valentine coming in. <laughs> we're surviving with Jonathan. I know right off the bat we're going to get a nemesis. It's going to know where we are. You can see him in the distance. And welcome to a new episode, guys. Here we are trying to go for the adept. Hey, hey, hey. What do you think you're doing there, partner? We're trying to go for the adept Jill Valentine achievement. And right off the bat, we have a Claire. We have another Jill who's being chased. She's the obsession. Ain't that canon? And we're also going to be running Claire's, or excuse me, Jill's three different perks. So Jill has the Blast Mine, Resurgence, and Counter Force. Let's see what he does. Just going to focus on Jonathan, which is totally fine. Yeah, you like that, huh? You like that, huh? <laughs> Still hide right here. Let him take it. <laughs> sounds good, Nemi. Sounds good. <laughs> See you in the next one. So right off the bat, we're about to get our blast mine. So if you guys don't know what blast mine does, is you have to do the gen for about 66%, and then you can install blast mine. So you can see right there, blast mine. There's a little flash bang on top. And I believe he's gonna come for us, right? Now he's still on Jonathan. I think there's a zombie over there. I'm not sure. It's basement here? No. We got a middle gen done, I think. Make sure. Where's Nemi? Where's Nemi? Where's Nemi? This is a really good map for survivors. Like, I absolutely love this map because the tiles in the middle of this is so dirty. If you're really, really, really skilled, then you can just chain all these different loops uh, can I use a flashlight I can't oh that sucks so I wanted to get a flashlight save but I can't because he has that eruption perk let's see if I can get it let's see if he goes for the pickup oh he looked the other way damn it I wanted to get that but yeah so pretty much what you do is you do about 66% of a gen and then you install you install the uh, there it is. Let's see if he kicks it hopefully he kicks it but you install a, a, a flashbang and essentially what it does is Let's see if he falls for it I got stuck. I'm gonna pretend to go for this. Damn that reach, dude. That reach. Woo! Nemi. Nemi. <laughs> there he is. He might come back. Oh, he did. Oh, <laughs> there he is. But essentially, you put a grenade on it. If he kicks the, the gen, it explodes in his face, and it pretty much blinds him for about three seconds. And then he can kick the gen again for, for an actual stun on the, the, the gen. You know, he can regress the gen. Um, looks like Claire got that gen done for us. Perfect. So we did do a good job by wasting Nemesis' time. He's only gotten two hooks, and we've gotten three gens. We can see our other two teammates aren't really doing much. I don't know what they're doing. They're kind of having a little powwow. Maybe they're just freaked out that, you know, Stranger Things and Resident Evil are coming together within Dead by Daylight. But then also, too, we have, um, I believe Counterforce is the one where if I do a totem, I do it 20% faster, and I add 20% every time i do another totem so i'll do it at 40 then 60 then 80. it's actually really good and then the other perk i believe it's called resurgence and you can see right now i got unhooked and i'm already 50 percent um healed so that saves so much time let's see what he's gonna do he's gonna smack his zombie so we we save so much time after healing especially if you unhook a survivor very quickly Oh, what is this? Watch this be something really bad. But look at right there, you can see the increased speed. How we're we're healing or we're 
doing this 20% faster, and then I believe for four seconds, I'm gonna see where the next farthest totem is. Yep, and it's all the way over there. So now we know that the totem's over at the mines, so we can go over there later if we wanna do it. So it's a really cool perk. You get to do totems 20% faster and now once I do that one I'll do it at 40% faster you know show me where the next totem is maybe it'll be somewhere over here and then I'll do the next one 60% faster so it's really cool now I really like blast mine you can see right up top that grenade it's uh smoking so only you could see it in the survivors not the killer but it also lets everyone else on your team know that hey this is a gen that's over here if we need to get it done, let's get it done. Or, hey, there's a three gen that's about to happen, so let's keep this gen right here. And you can see right over there, uh, the other Jill is letting me know that her gen is on that side. So, the best scenario, I could kind of see her too running. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they have Kindred. Okay, never mind. I was like, wait a second, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know where uh, Claire is. But again, I'm just gonna install it so that everyone knows here. I'm gonna go this way. Yep, there he is. He kicks it. Boom, baby! <laughs> Yo, you might want to kick that gen again, Nemesis. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And I'm just gonna hide right here. Let's see what he does. There he is. He doesn't know where we are. Oh my gosh, he's distorted. They got that gen done. We have a perfect map split. Because I know we did uh, a gen in the middle and a gen right here. I'm pretty sure Demi's going to go over there to try to get... Dude, this this map is this match has been super fun. I believe he's going to be staying over there. I would if I was him. Yeah, he's in the middle. Yep, we're just going to finish this gen. I don't know what perks he had. I would say maybe Dying Light and Devour Hope. Let me know what you guys think that perk was. He has two glowing totems, so I don't know. Hex house crowd control. I'm not sure. Our TTD friend over there, Tickle Lickle, is uh, injured. Hopefully he has adrenaline so that if he could survive for maybe three more seconds, he can get adrenaline. No adrenaline, but we're going to get this door ready for him. And we're going to try to get a flashlight save. Let's see if anyone can help him out. Take a hit for him. Anything. Because he is dead. He is dead dead. We're so close. There goes Claire. It really does sound like her. Yo, and that's going to be a rip for our friend right there. We're going to open this door. And that's it for us, man. That's it for us. He's level 3. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh, man. And there it is. Adept Jill. I don't know if you guys can see. You guys can't see it on the screen, but it just popped up for me. Adept Jill right there. Super fun match, guys. That was a really fun video. I hope you guys liked it. Very, 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 very awesome, man, that we are here. Claire was in the game. It was super cool that we got Jonathan as well, one of the newest skins. We got two Jills. Man, I'm just, I'm just happy super super happy so it was devour hope and it was um hex and dying so that was really good i knew he had lethal pursuer because he came at us right away and um i was like yeah he's, he's coming right for us he had the uh, virus sample so his mutation rate did go up that's why he was attacking his own zombies and then he ran the tyrant gore too so that increased the the mutation rate when you destroyed his zombies right there too as well and then it decreased the zombie respawn time. It went from 30 seconds, now it's 45 seconds. So if a zombie dies to a survivor or whatever, um, it comes back in 45 seconds, not 30 seconds anymore. And we did get um, cursed with that eruption perk where once he downed one of the, the survivors and he kicked the gen, then we were incata incapacitated for 14 seconds. So that's why I couldn't flashlight save Jonathan on that first one. Um, and that's why he w he wanted to kick the gen because he wanted to get more value off of that. But we countered him with the blast mine, which is super, super, super awesome. So yeah, do 66% of a gen. And after you repair it for three seconds, you can put a, a 
a frag or a, um, I keep calling it a smoke bomb because it looks like a smoke bomb, but it's a flashbang. And I keep calling it a grenade, but you know, it's a flashbang. So, super, super are awesome. Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Thank you guys so much for just, man, liking it. And, and all of you guys I know are subscribing and commenting your favorite things. So, hey, who do you want to see next? Who should we go for next? Should we do the Leon Adept? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everyone.